guys welcome back to my channel i am doing an updated tattoo tour for you guys today i think the last one i did was last summer and i did get some tattoos since then i'm basically just gonna go over all my tattoos from top to bottom i don't remember like every tattoo anymore like pain scale i would say i do have a high pain tolerance but if there's any tattoos that were like more sensitive or whatever more painful i will make sure to highlight that i feel like with these videos i always want to give a little disclaimer i'm always down for people to take inspo from my tattoos but i just don't like when people like blatantly copy it i just think it's weird i saw i think it was like earlier this year there was a girl on tiktok who got my exact like hand tattoo and it was just weird to me i guess because this is my job it's kind of inevitable but i'm just saying it now if you're watching if you want to take inspo from something that's totally fine but just get your own design made it's more fun anyways also i'm not really going to go into like any deep meanings behind my tattoos i feel like now i don't necessarily put a meaning behind every tattoo if i have a meaning that's nice and if i don't then i don't i'm at a point where i just kind of get tattoos because i think they look nice and hopefully i can finish my sleeves this year i feel like i've been saying this for the past two years but we're getting somewhere i guess and then i want to move on to my legs i want to do my back and maybe some more upper body stuff i don't know yet let's start at the top so first one i would show is the one in my neck which i'm gonna zoom you in i have an 11 11 um a lot of people ask me if this hurts it doesn't obviously it's tiny so it took like two seconds but i didn't feel any of it i have angel tattooed on my shoulder i've had this for a few years now it's blown out a little bit but i don't know i think the placement's still cute and i like the tattoo and then i have 222 which has just been a very special number for me i really wanted to get this tattooed on me and i really really love this placement like i think this looks just so fucking good let's right away get my sternum tat out of the way because that's the only one in like the middle as you can see it's not centered it wasn't centered to begin with and then after i got my boobs done it just i mean you can tell it kind of it's like lopsided i don't know what i'm gonna be doing with this i still like the look of my tattoo like if i look at the actual design it's kind of messed up a little bit and it's like not perfect but i still like the look of like having it right there so but i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't know if i'm gonna add something to it to try and make it more symmetrical or if i'm just gonna leave it if anyone has ideas let me know i have this tattoo which i got matching with my brother and sister my mom's birthday i think it was like 17 maybe let's move on to my arms first off i have this lion on my shoulder i got this last year as well i really really love this i'm a leo so obviously i have to get a freaking lion tattooed on me i think the design's super cute with this detail and i think she's really pretty i will put my tattoo designer and my artist in the description on the back of this arm i have this tattoo of africa and then i have a flower where nigeria is and then down there i have kawaii in japanese cute i've had this for a while as well i really really love red i want to add more red to my arms because i just think it looks really nice on my skin so over here i have 1957 which is my mom's birth year and i like using my mom as an excuse to get tattoos so i wanted to get something in this like font stuff and i was like why not get her birth year um then on the inside of this arm i have a cute little cupid i would say this is more of a sensitive spot because it's like thin and I feel like a good way to figure out if something's going to be painful is by kind of grazing your nails along the skin and see how sensitive it is. I feel like this is a sensitive spot when I do that compared to on top, if that makes sense. Um, that's a tip I can give you. Yeah, but I think this is a cutie. I've seen this get um, copied as well a few times. Someone got the exact same design. <laughs> but i guess that's what happens when your tattoos end up on pinterest whatever i could go on about that for hours but i feel like people are just gonna be like shut up you're so dramatic <laughs> over here i have this medusa tattoo and then we made the snakes red i really really like it i think it's so so pretty and then moving on over here i have my four butterflies which i've had for a while now i think for over a year maybe even two i really can't even remember i feel like Ever since COVID, like the years just kind of are so blurry that I don't know if I did something in 2021 or 2020. One of my favorite tattoos, just because I love 
how it just fills up this part of my arm. Over here, I have a little lotus flower in red. On the inside, I have this Scorpio, because my mom's a Scorpio, and then I have these boobies, which these have had for a while. This was like part of kind of the first tattoos that I was getting. And I remember I saw this design on Pinterest and I could not find the artist. And I ended up getting it tattooed. And then afterwards I got permission from the artist, but I've definitely learned from that. And I was very young, I was probably like 18 when I did that or 19. Don't do that. <laughs> Luckily they gave me permission and it wasn't someone's tattoo. It was like a drawing. So I feel like that's different as well, but make sure to ask permission guys. Moving on to my hands. This is, I think this might be my favorite tattoo. Just honestly, my hands in general, after I got my hands tattooed, I just became obsessed with my hands. I used to not really like my hands. I felt like my fingers were like fat and like, I never really thought I had pretty hands, but after getting them tattooed, like I love Love showing off my hands so i got the sun and moon and then we basically just like did a bunch of sparkles around it did like this kind of almost like a bracelet like around my wrist i thought that would be really cool and then these tattoos i've had for way longer these were the first kind of finger tattoos that i got if you watched my previous tattoo tours you would have seen that um and then i also have this one i have a rose on my thumb yeah i think it's cute i kind of want to add i was thinking maybe i wanted to do my middle name you guys actually don't know this i don't think i've ever shared my middle name so i have two names two middle names um, but my Nigerian name, I don't think I've ever shared it online. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. But I was thinking of um, getting that done and kind of let it, like having it go into the rows. And then I want to kind of just get the rows touched up, but I haven't done that yet. It's just been an idea for a few years. <laughs> okay, I think that's all for that arm. This was my first like bigger piece that I got. We first did the snake. I kind of wish I didn't do the shading as much, but at the time... I wasn't really sure about my tattoo style. Um, I feel like if I were to start over now, I would have done it completely different because like once you actually want to create a sleeve, like you want to be more just aware of placement and like style, at least for me. When I just started getting tattoos, I wasn't really, I never even thought I was going to get a sleeve. So yeah, I kind of wish I didn't do as much shading, but I still like the tattoo nonetheless. On the inside, I have this. I think this is such a cool piece. I actually recently got this. It's like a gun going through a heart and like it's shooting out a little heart i think it's so cool and then we did the red and then i have this like booty with like fire and this was kind of like a random thing that i just thought was nice to get because i love just a woman's body and i thought the stretch marks were nice because it just felt more realistic i don't know in the back here i have my mom's initials i think it looks so nice like from the back like that just like a handwritten um piece because i thought it was like nice to kind of change it up a bit because i don't really have much written here besides like on this part this just says i have a whole universe in my mind then i got this palm tree in la it was kind of like a random thing we went into this random tattoo place on melrose and one of the girls that came along on the trip was like oh want to get a tattoo and i've been thinking about it so i was like let me just get one as well and then she wanted to get a palm tree done and i was like oh that's a cute idea and i obviously i was like i don't want to steal your idea she was like no it's fine you can get it so i was like cool and then the guy just came up with this i feel like this is a very generic like palm tree tattoo but i didn't really care for it i thought it was cute and i like that we placed it there oh i love this tattoo so much it has a heart in the middle obviously it's a spider web with a spider and then it has a heart in the middle and i just love how this looks like i just think this is so perfect and i'm excited to get my other elbow tattooed as well this wasn't too crazy painful it was sensitive but it wasn't the worst my most painful was my sternum i completely forgot to say that like super super painful like i want to like fix this shit but like i'm also terrified because it was so painful but elbow really wasn't too bad i feel like my hands were more painful my hands were actually really painful at my fingers love my spider web tattoo and i'm excited to get this one done i don't know what i'm gonna do here though i have these little lemons i've had this for a while as well i think the design is just really cute and pretty and it fits this says divine feminine in red ink i think the placement is like beautiful like that so then over here this is french for beautiful soul um then below that i have this little butterfly tattoo with some sparkles and like crescent moon i have my birth year in 1999 this little star this is like from one of the first tattoos i got it's like honestly kind of ugly but it's there <laughs> 
I have blue tattooed on me and a red heart. And then I have these cherries down here. This, I forgot what this is called. Um, this is also one of the first tattoos that I got. I need to do it like this. <laughs> and then I think all we have left is... Well, actually, I have one other tattoo to show you, but this is my other hand. Kind of like stuck to the astrology type theme. I have this tattoo that says strength. So this one, I would recommend if you're getting fine line, make sure to not like make the letters too close to each other because I feel like mine kind of blown out. I can still read it, but as like years have passed, it does kind of heal thicker so that's something to keep in mind and then like all of these we did when i did this piece oh and i have an a on my thumb for my mom i think that's all and then the last that you were going to show you is actually the first one i ever got and it was done really badly it healed super ugly and then years later probably like five years later i went and got it kind of fixed by my current artist and you can you can read it now it's italian and it means life is beautiful i got this done when i was 16 it was my, for my 16th birthday i was like very depressed at the time so this was like a really beautiful meaning for me and so i still really like the tattoo i don't think i would ever like get rid of it um but hopefully once i've added to my legs it will kind of fit in so let me show you <laughs> this is let me not show you my ass this is the tattoo and i'm not gonna try to pronounce it i've done it before but i feel like it just means life is beautiful i think i got them all i don't really feel like counting them okay actually i'm gonna count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i'm just gonna count my hand as one right 16 17 18 19 20 20 I think 33, if I count my hands as like one each. If I were to do it separately, it would be, it would be like 43 probably. No, actually, yeah, something like that. Girl, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of wrong, whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go edit this now and upload it for you tonight, but I hope you enjoyed it. I probably will do an updated one once I've got like a bunch more. If I do get any more this year, I will show it in vlogs. If you wanna see it earlier, make sure to check out my vlogs. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.